Welcome. The Russians, facing supply shortages, have not fired any cruise missiles or launched any attacks using Iranian Shahid-136 drones on Ukraine's power infrastructure over the past week, the Ukrainian Air Force spokesman said. We don't see any attacks within the last week by Shahid-136 drones and cruise missiles, said Yuri Ignat during a media briefing Monday, calling the pause a conditional quietness. Obviously, the enemy cannot afford to launch massive missile strikes all the time, because it experiences a shortage of these weapons. This also applies to Iskanders and KH-555, KH-101 missiles, as well as caliber cruise missiles. Last month, the Russians only fired 15 calibers, said Ignat, which means that these missiles are in deficit with the enemy and they cannot manufacture them on the large scale in a fast manner. As for, the quietness in terms of rocket strikes and missile strikes, I think that the enemy is accumulating its forces because as I previously mentioned, they cannot afford to constantly strike on us, said Ignat. And we can relate it to something that happened in the southern direction. We witnessed the liberation of the, west, bank of the Dnipro River. And apparently, the enemy concentrated their attention to preserve the group of troops in that area to get regrouped and relocated. The missile shortage described by Ignat tracks with what Ukrainian Major General Kirillo Budinov, head of that nation's Defense Intelligence Directorate, told Ukrainian Pravda last month. About 13% remains for Iskanders, about 43% for Caliber PL, Caliber and K missiles, and about 45% for KH-101 and KH-555 missiles, Budinov told the Ukrainian newspaper. It is generally very dangerous to fall below 30% because it already goes, in, to, NZ, reserve stocks, due to the lack of missiles and their low efficiency and accuracy, they were forced to use Iranian drones. They use, Shahid, en masse here. But now Russia appears to be a shortage of those drones, Ignat said. To date, more than 330 out of some 400 Iranian suicide drones have been destroyed by the Ukrainian Defense Forces, he said Monday. They were launched from the Crimea, from the Kherson region, from the Zaporizhia region, as well as from the Kursk region of Russia and the territory of Belarus. Russia has ordered another 1,500 Iranian drones, said Ignat, but to order is one thing they have to be delivered, they have to be located at the launch sites, and only then they can be used. These deliveries appear to continue depending on a number of factors. Earlier this month, Ukrainian officials said that they expected a new tranche of Iranian drones, as well as Fateh, 110 and Zulfagar short-range ballistic missiles SRBMs, to be delivered from Iran to Russia for its war in Ukraine. You can read more about that here.